Well, good evening, guys. It is the 1st of June today. It's a Friday. Uh, once again, as you can see by the boats, <laughs> we're down the canal. Uh, and as you can see, I brought Anastasia with me again, despite the fact that she uh, caught loads more fish than, <laughs> than I did last time. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> What we've done, we've come out, it's about 7.30, quarter to eight now. We've come out to uh, a, a small marina, not far outside Stratford. So we fancy doing a bit of Xander fishing. Now, I have been out uh, a few times since you last saw me fishing with Anastasia, um, really unsuccessfully, but I'll, I'll run you through that in a minute. Uh, but for tonight, what we're doing, as I say, we're doing a bit of Xander fishing. Um, but, just till it gets dark really because as I mentioned um, I've been out a few times and the Xander really just not having it at the moment the water temperature is 18 degrees um, so that they're just not interested to be honest in the day I'm hoping I mean I may be totally wrong hoping they're gonna be a bit more interested at night perhaps when it cools down a little bit um, so that's the plan so what we're doing we're just fishing with the float rods at the moment just to try and catch a few bream and there's some bream and roach supposed to be in here but uh, aside from last Wednesday which I say as I say I went I'll go into in a minute uh, when I fished here um, I've never fished here before so um, I'll go into things in a little bit more detail in a minute uh, but for now I'm just gonna uh, get one of the Xander rods out and uh, I'll come back to you and let you know what I've been up to So guys, what's been happening since I last saw you? Um, last saw you was a week ago Sunday. Uh, I was with Anastasia, she caught all those uh, bream hybrids and let me catch a few as well, didn't she? It was very kind of her. Um, as I said, I've been out a few times since then. Um, the following Friday was my long awaited Xander trip to the Grand Union Canal with Mick uh, to a beautiful stretch he knows. Um, it's uh, not far outside uh, Leamington Spa. So we got there a similar sort of time to this really, the idea of being to fish into dark uh, and avoid the boats because it proper routes through there when, they, when the boats are going through and the locks are opening. It's, it's like a river. Um, it's pretty difficult to fish it to be honest, uh, as I found out when one boat went through. Um, but we just had the one and then we had the place to ourselves, it was great. Um, Mick has never failed to catch when he's fished there before. Um, but unfortunately, this time we did. Um, nothing at all happened during the light. Uh, I managed to catch uh, a rud, a couple of roach and a little perch just on the float rod. Um, but Xander wise, we had absolutely nothing. And uh, until it was getting on towards 10 o'clock, um, it was pretty dark and we were just about thinking about knocking it on the head because it had been so bad. But then um, I had a bit of a clang on one of the rods. Um, I had the tips fairly high in the air. I was watching the, um, I did have the alarms on, but I was watching the tips really like you would barbell fishing with the beta lights on. Um, a bit of a couple of clangs, another couple of clangs, but uh, that was it. It didn't really materialise into anything. Nothing worth striking at. And that was that, so we decided to knock it on the head. Um, and then, <laughs> not forever saying this on it, but we were just packing away and you could just about see still. And as you know, if you've seen my videos, don't tend to use torches too much. Even when I'm packing away, I can pretty much pack away with that, with that light on. And if there's a bit of sort of ambient light, I can see fine. Uh, and I could see this sort of bow wave coming down the canal towards us. And uh, Mick was just stood next to me and I sort of said to him, you know, what's that, is it a duck? It's a bit late for the ducks to swim, be swimming about. At which point it stopped. I thought, that's a bit strange. And there was a big splosh in the undergrowth, which is very thick on the opposite side to us. Uh, and then the bow wave came from underneath them. You know, convinced it was an otter. Um, which sort of all ties up with the fact that it got very, very poor, the fishing down there. Um, 
it's supposed to be some nice eels down there and we all know otters love eels don't they so you know all sort of tied up um, which is a shame really because it's a beautiful spot um, but I'm not going to be in a great rush to go back me or Mick um, so that was that really so I was out again on the Sunday morning I went back up to the spot where me and Anastasia fished or a little bit along from there uh, where a guy called Dave hiya Dave um, he was telling me he has some carp from there um, not, not a huge carp but you know yeah, catch some carp from the canal it's great um, so I had a little go for them um, the idea being really well, the idea was that I was doing, it was going to be a bit of stalking really or, or baiting a few spots and going around and see if the bottom was getting churned up this was at dawn uh, but uh, I got up there had been thunderstorms in the night um, driving there there was standing water everywhere all over the roads I thought mm, this is not good uh, and it was still thundering although it wasn't very local when I when I got there so I thought I'd give it a few hours anywhere perhaps but just put some bait in one spot and sit it out for two or three hours just see if anything happened and uh, and it didn't and it thundered and the thunder and lightning got closer and I thought this is a bit stupid I'm going home <laughs> so that was that for that trip uh, and as I touched on a minute ago on Wednesday me and Mick came here although we couldn't have a long session it was after work um, we couldn't do a lot uh, we had a couple of hours here um, just just to see really because um, you probably recognize the place from a couple of other videos that have been doing the rounds on YouTube um, but what seems to have happened is is the place has got hammered a bit really um, unfortunately and the fishing seems to have gone right off which is why I haven't really been in a rush to get down here and do any fishing but uh, I do pop in occasionally I haven't seen any anglers down here for well at all um, since I joined the club and since I've been coming down and having a look so me and Mick thought we'd have a go down here but as I say we came on Wednesday had absolutely nothing we're here for about an hour and a half fished all the way along and uh, in the end we went for a wander off up that way up to uh, the, there's a, a small bridge over the canal uh, we had a wander off up there and That, that another spot that Mick knows that he fishes uh, has Xander from uh, no big ones but he has had Xander in the past uh, we sort of had a wonder about it. it's only a couple of hundred meters and, and uh, but unfortunately nothing there either I did I did chuck one bait underneath the bridge uh, where it's where the canal tends to be deeper under the bridge and the, the Xander can sort of hang out down there and uh, I had a bit of a knock on the float sort of got pulled under uh, and I came back up and sort of ready to strike ready to strike but uh, but no, didn't materialise into anything. So uh, once again, that was that really. Um, we came back here, fished just about till it was getting dark, but uh, we both had to go, so that was that. Which brings us to now, which is, uh, which will come later on today. Uh, it's Friday, I'm gonna get up in the morning, Anastasia Fancy's coming as well. So we thought we'd have a go, fish into dark. We'll fish perhaps till 10, maybe 11 o'clock, you know, depending on how it's going. But at the moment, it's not going well at all. Bubbles. Right out in front of you. Anastasia's just moved up that way because see, the baited spot's not doing anything at the moment. So uh, she's just gone off up there and uh, a bit of fizzing going on. So she's just dropping her maggots in. But uh, as uh, 12 year old girls do, not paying any attention at all and uh, and didn't see massive, huge fizz bubbles come up in front of her. <laughs> anyway. Right, so I'm going to uh, concentrate on fishing a little bit more, uh, do a little, little bit less talking. Now you're all up to, to speed and hopefully we can put a fish on the bank tonight. Um, speed the line up as the float sinking, as well as the shot sinking, but the alarm come off now. The alarm come off. Then it's got to go out with the shot. I'll be making sure you can catch a roach.
Well guys, check him out. Got to be three pound. Fantastic. Anastasia's once again showing me how to float fish. That's brilliant that they they've took an hour or so to turn up the, the bream, but they're bubbling now, so uh, hopefully we can have a few more. It's about a quarter to eight now. Nothing on my Xander rod, but uh, Anastasia's showing me how to float fish once again. <laughs> That's fantastic. Lovely condition as well. Brilliant. Try and have a few more. Well guys, uh, unfortunately we didn't have anything else, it's, uh, it's gone 11 o'clock now so we've had enough, <laughs> we're going home, uh, Anastasia's been asleep already <laughs> as you saw on the uh, on the bank, so uh, unfortunately nothing else happened after that bream, didn't even have another bite, um, so I think the plan now is to get out on Sunday morning, uh, not sure exactly where or to do what at the moment but uh, we'll have a think and uh, Hopefully, we'll see you on Sunday morning with some fish. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Uh, keep in touch in the comments below. And we'll see you again next time. Bye.